Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we will be telling you about the AI. So jobs that would be replaced with the help of AI. So there have been many roles who were being performed manually till now or who were performed by human till now, but those jobs would be replaced by AI very soon. And this is a kind of a personal point of view. So if any of you have any particular section or you have any uh, you know contradiction then uh, it's fine you can put in the comment section of the video and we are open to debate on that right so what we will do is we will be showcasing you the jobs that would be replaced by ai itself and we have collected few of the eight to ten jobs that are very high to be replaced by ai right now what does impact of AI and automation on job roles will do? So particularly if you were doing some routine level of task, if you were, if you were doing some repetitive task, which does not need much of, you know, human intelligence, then those job roles can be shifted. Those job roles can be changed, replaced by AI itself. So the first job opportunity is of a data entry clerks. So what does data entry person do? So just imagine you get some data in a form of a raw data or in the form of some uh, miscellaneous things and you have to segregate it you have to consolidate it in a particular shape on a particular page or you can say web page or a form right so that's what the data entry people do they will enter the data into a proper manner into an organized manner again this is a repetitive task because you are just copying and you are pasting the data from one place to another so it it inputs various amount of data vast amount of data from one place to another so this can be replaced by rpa this can be replaced by ai bots right the automation impact what it would do is it would replace humans because there are bots there are uh, ai things that are available these days in the market which can do the task of data entry as well as there are tools also that are available for who can do translation so recently we saw there was a layoff um, so let me share my screen right so if you are aware about this uh, app sorry this company duolingo they have cut about 10 percent of its contractors jobs because of ai so what they do is generally they do the translation from one language to another language it's a language learning application it will allow its customers or users to learn various languages so earlier they had kept people who would do the translation from x language to y language you can say from one language to another language right but now what they have done is they have got some ai tools and technologies which will convert the uh, the text the content from one language to another language right so ultimately they are replacing the people who are doing those kind of translations right so more than third of the companies said ai replaced workers last year and 44 percent said the technology will cause layoffs in the 2024 also so these layoffs were impacted fully by ai right then uh, let's look at the second uh, jobs that were replaced by ai or that might be getting replaced by ai okay yeah so it is about telemarketers now what does telemarketers do they will call you and they will um, tell you about some product they will do the they will do the task of selling those products right so kind of a sales marketing so you often get a lot of calls related to credit card loans and all those things so there are chatbots there are virtual assistants who can do this kind of task so this again will decline the necessity of the human telemarketers because humans cannot work 24 7 humans cannot work on saturdays and sundays that's where these chatbots would be helpful so there are many use cases that they are working on uh, so uh, if if you would have heard about um, the ai tool that is related to teleprompt right so that is capable of doing this task itself right then line workers assembly okay so in manufacturing sector what happens is they have to work day and night 24 7 they have to work on they have to perform repetitive tasks on the assembly line so let's say uh, imagine a food packing company 
or food packing organization, right? So what they will do, they will get the raw material in that particular box. They just have to apply sellotape. They just have to pack it, right? So those kind of repetitive labor tasks that can be done, that can be done by the AI bots itself. Cashiers. So again, if you will see many of the places where a uh, lot of people are still uh, giving you and helping you with the cash, right? They will help you with uh, taking out the cash from those machines, right? But now self-checkout systems can also replace the human cashiers in the retail setting. So there are many retail shops, retail uh, malls still where the cashiers are uh, using their own uh, you know they are dependent on those particular cashiers who are human beings so those can be replaced by ai bots then again accounting clerks and bookkeeping where you can have all the algorithms that can be implemented to automate the repetitive accountant task so again that's a threat to accounting clerks or bookkeeping people right drivers yes we all know the drones are available with the capability of bots itself right they can drive the car by themselves they can drive the vehicles by themselves you don't need any kind of drivers more as of now security guards yes again those can be replaced so there are ai powered surveillance surveillance systems available who can replace the human security guards they have the potential to alter the demand of human security guards right particularly in those sectors wherein they can keep some technological advances. So there can be few banks, there can be few uh, security organizations where they would have been needing a lot of human security force, but those can be replaced by the AI, right? Now, these were few of the jobs. Apart from that, if you will see related to IT. So in IT also, there is a tool, uh, AI tool available, which can help you to write the code as well, right? So at least it can replace the entry level of coding jobs. So earlier, if companies were hiring people who can write some entry level of code, who have very junior experience of software engineering, then there are tools that can help them to write the code. They don't have to write the code from the scratch. They can help the tools can, with the help of tools, they can also write that particular code also. And then they can improvise, they, they can optimize it. But yes, the basic, the raw version of the code is available, right? Now, many of you would be thinking, what about testing? Would software testing be replaced by AI or any kind of such tools, robotic tools, right? So in, in uh, testing, what happens is uh, you need human intelligence to find the defects, to design those important test scenarios, to create some test cases. And whenever you get the build, there will be some changes in that particular build. It will not be, it is not a repetitive task that on every build, on every release, you have to perform these. So if you will see, uh, if you learn automation testing, so you can accomplish those uh, repetitive tasks like smoke testing, regression testing, which you are supposed to do at every release. But what about functional testing? What about non-functional testing? What about uh, retesting? Those things still would need human intelligence, right? So that's why if you will see using Selenium, people have been automating regression suits. People have been creating smoke test cycles, but they were, they are still supposed to uh, they still supposed to have those kind of sorry, human intelligence with the help of which uh, they would be able to find the bugs in every release, right? So it is very sure that AI will not be able to replace testing or software testing as of now, right? We cannot predict the future, but uh, so far the things don't look like that because all these job roles that I mentioned to you, all these job roles that I showed it to you, now they are being replaced. So you, I also so I also showed you one of the layoffs news related to language application. What happened there? What earlier they have were working and what now they were they have happened, right? So kind of a picture we saw before and after, right? So that's where the AI tools have been replaced, right? So that's it for this video. In this video, we covered mostly about the jobs that can be replaced by AI. As many of the people in the comment section of the video, they have been asking which are the jobs that would be replaced by AI, which are the jobs that would get disappeared by AI, 
right so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates